Hello everybody and welcome back to how to build a 105 Thunder Chief 10 minutes at a time all right everybody I got this all played up got it all waxed up wax more wax my part in the plane there now what you got to do I'm getting ready to spray my part all on there but you got to treat this just like you're painting it you know you don't want no dust or nothing on there so you take it all off and I gotta do one more thing before I spray my part all on there you can tell me what it is huh? These are some used dots. These are just them furniture bumper dots that uh, I've used in earlier in the project. I think I can reuse them. And they're just, uh, they form in the resin. And uh, allow my two half to line up perfectly when my mold is finished. here in the shop so I've reused these several times as a matter of fact okay now we're ready for our part all our mold release film this is just a uh, part all number 10 okay get that at Associated Industries there's a link on our website coats of wax on there this is water base so you know what happens when you put water on wax boom it'll fish out real bad if you spray it on too heavy so the trick to this is a lot of air pressure and very little very little you don't spray very much at a time I got my gun adjusted to where it's just going to put out a super fine mist Bumpy, 
that stuff will lay down flat man so you don't really sweat it too much right now just let her dry while it's drying I'm gonna finish my coffee looks like 8 30 in the morning I'm getting started early today so every cup of coffee sit back watch some videos you guys that are jumping ahead Go back and watch some of them other videos today. <laughs> I know that many, many people like old Jimmy went back and watched 600 videos in five days. <laughs> he, he emailed me back and said it might have been six days. He suffered from, he was suffering from sleep deprivation and, and lost track of time. <laughs> Well, this stuff dries pretty quick. And you just let her sit. Because if you try and spray a wet one on there, man, it'll fish out. You know? And you just take a, take a wet sponge and wipe it off. It wipes off real easy and start over, but we don't want to have to do that. So you just let her sit. And you put two or three mist coats on it. And even though it might look kind of orange peely right after you spray it, just walk away from it. And uh, it'll lay flat. You gotta listen to that guy on your shoulder telling you to stop. Not that guy on that other shoulder telling you to keep going. <laughs> Go ahead and squirt some more. No, don't listen to that guy. You gotta listen to this other guy over here telling you to stop. <laughs> I know it's hard to do sometimes. I tend to listen. I used to listen to this other guy. And uh, that's never good, man. That's never good. You guys know that. Do, 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 do. What else we got going on? Nothing really. Oh, I had a guy asking, why couldn't I do like uh, some of the detail work now? And uh, I'm going to tell you, because when I, pull, when I pull my two molds out, okay, when I pull my two plugs out, i got to spray a lot of primer on them yet because of my panel lines, you know. So anything I do now will just get covered up. So, you know, because he was wondering why I couldn't do like the light stuff that's on both sides of the wing, you know, and on both wings. And because uh, i got to do a, I got to spray another you know big heavy coats of primer on this when I do my panel lines that's why it's all got to be done at once but uh, it won't take me but a few days dad's gonna help me put all the panel lines on once I get my two plugs made then I could put all my panel lines on this and on this here I still got to do something here I think I'm gonna lay up some flat pieces of glass then put them in there, you know, put some, you know, once they set up, trim them down a little bit, glue them up on the edges, then put my wing in there, and that'll give me a nice finished edge here, because we're not going to glue them winglets in now. And uh, so i got to finish these in here. i got to finish all that. So well, I think that's what I'm going to do there. It'll be pretty easy. You'll see. Ain't much to it. It still dries pretty fast. It's ready for another coat. Especially if you keep them coats thin like that. <laughs> 